Welcome, everyone. Today's topic is going to be how much notice do you need to give your clients when you're going to raise their rates? And so I want to talk about the importance of giving our clients some notice and they may have some questions about it. So it might be questions and notice that you're going to have to answer. I would say the general rule of thumb is at least one month, if not two months. And I think that's going to depend on a couple of things. Are you an insurance-based practice who happens to take private pay? Are all of your clients private pay? Are you upping all of your clients to a certain amount? Sometimes for whatever reason, our clients can pay varying amounts. Maybe the times that they came to us, maybe you were charging 100, then you went to 125, and uh, maybe you only raised people $5 or $10. And so there's a, a lot of reasons why people pay different things for the you know counseling session, or maybe they're coming for, you know maybe charge more for initial assessments, maybe charge more for couples counseling. And so you really want to take a look at how much are you going to be raising your rates? Are you raising them to a certain level? Like you're taking all your clients from 125 to 150? Or are you raising everybody $15 or $10 or $5? There's a lot of people out there that raise their rates $5 every year. I can kind of understand that because our cost raise every year. And so our rates need to match that. And if you're spending a lot more on your expenses, then it might be time for you to raise your rates so that your balance sheet can look a little bit better if you're not familiar with what your profit is, what your expenses are, what you're um, taking home as an owner. You definitely want to be able to jot those numbers down or maybe talk to your accountant. Maybe your accountant is encouraging you to raise your rates, right? You've been at a pretty low point for a while and it's time, or maybe you're full. That's another thing that happens. I know the first time that I raised my rates, it was because I was full and I needed to, you know, kind of to set up a bar for new clients. So then that way, um, I wasn't just taking in a bunch of clients at a lower rate and then overworking myself. And so I would say sending out a letter or giving a letter to your clients at least a month in advance um, it could be up to two months. I would probably recommend that you do two months. Or if you decide to do it at the beginning of the year, give your clients a couple months notice, um, either through letters, just having verbal conversations with them, and then having them re-sign any financial paperwork that they've completed in terms of what their contracted rate is going to be with you. And so you just want to make sure you have all this paperwork, especially in the client's file, all up to date. And so if you're having these conversations, you want to do it one to two months beforehand and just let them know. And if it, and if they ask, like, why are you raising your rates? You can talk about like, if you have some, if you're comfortable and this is your style, like some of the rising costs that you have, or just some of the things that are happening for your business. A lot of the times we don't realize it, but our clients see things about our business that maybe they we don't realize that they do. Maybe like your couch is old and you need a new couch or you need to upgrade your office or you need to move offices. That was a big thing um, is when you're moving offices or you're adding services or even a coffee uh, maker up at the front, coffee supplies can be quite costly. And so you might need to raise your rates to be able to afford some of the things that you want to do. Trainings, right? Trainings cost money. And you need to make sure that you're both living, doing the trainings, offering coffee, offering the services, and make, making sure that your expenses aren't out of control. And so raising rates are one way that you can maybe make your balance sheet look a little bit better in terms of your profit, in terms of your pay, and in terms of your expenses. Because if you're bringing in more money, then your expenses can raise if, if you need to raise them. And so you have a couple of options. Again, you can either raise everybody a flat rate, or you can decide to bring everybody to a certain level. Level. And again, a good rule of thumb is one to two months. I want to give a shout out to Therapy Notes, our sponsor for this talk, Alive with Amanda. If you're looking for an electronic health record, something that you can put your, your fees in, take payments from there, even send letters to clients, definitely check out Therapy Notes. That's a great thing is that you want to make sure that you both give your clients a piece of paper that outlines this and maybe have them sign something that outlines your new financial policy and make sure whoever answers the phone knows that you've raised your rates. You want to make sure if you have your rates listed on your website that that is on there on your psychology today. So then that way, this is everywhere. So everybody knows that you've raised your rates. And somebody taught me this, um, that 
you know, when you raise your rates, you might lose some clients. And while that might be very difficult for you, sometimes you up level in your business and that you're not going to be working with the same exact clients and that you have to be okay with that as a therapist, that your business is constantly transforming and constantly changing and that some clients might decide your new rate is not within their budget and then just have some referrals on hand. So you can send them over to a equally as awesome clinician as you are, but maybe within their budget. So thanks for watching today. And if you have any questions, this question came from a good friend of mine. Um, and you can send me a message or send me an email and I'm happy to answer your questions. Thanks everybody. Bye.